okay in this lesson we are going to do the connector piece so that we can connect this wheel you can see we we have made a very big wheel just select the wheel and just control press control g to make a groove and scale that you can see when you make a groove the pivot is uh, by default here because the settings inside the groove is uh, set to origin so just if you want to change it to, you can change that to center so that when you groove the pivot uh, pivot should be at the object so in this case no problem just go to modify center pivot to bring the pivot here let's scale and let's put go to side view and just make the proportion there it's too big right now the scale and get the size and uh, in this case actually the connector will not be visible very much so uh, what we do is make a very basic and not that detailed because our character should be in focus and it's not gonna see much much of the back side there so you don't have to do uh, details uh, in such area which are not going to visible much you do not don't want to spend unnecessary time on those uh, if if you are gonna show those parts in some renders or some some angles then that's okay let's do those uh, connectors i have some images you can uh, download these images through google i have attached these images with the course you can download from there just uh, you can see basically there are two parts with this part is connected with this and this part is connected by this bolt yeah so let's uh, make very simplified connecting base so let's do this first let's cube and uh, let's uh, take a cube and just extrude and just do this area so let's let's make that let's take a cube and scale it okay so just let me see what I'm doing here. Now, what we should do is to just make a groove and rotate it 90 degree and just push 90 degree. I just hold J and uh, rotate it. So, J stands actually J is there for snap rotate. You can hold J, J for jungle, and you can just rotate it. So, now you can see we're aligned, so it's much easier to do right now what I'm doing just scale it push it as I said I'm not gonna do in very detail this part so let's scale it a bit as you can see actually I watched the reference images um, know, many times in between so sorry for that just uh, let's put some divisions in width so that we can just extrude that part and also in depth as well I think no, I just rotate it just no problem just extrude this area just get to get that impression is something is there and no holding it's closed there just you can see there's four not bolts there as well just we can duplicate this and put that there so again it's a useful thing to reuse your model existing model if you can so to save time and try you know that time is money and time is very precious if you like okay just uh so yeah i think that's why what I want then let's do this part as well it's a kind of cylindrical part so it's not exactly square so let's take a cylinder and rotate it like 90 degree again I'm holding J while I'm rotating then rotate it and scale it move to the position and just try to create that shape there like this it's actually going inside there just hold control while you scale from this axis so that it's locked down there if you scale from the center this is affected just scale fit there and thing i'm going to do is 
just let's uh, decrease the subdivision axis to a little bit like 12 maybe or let's let's uh, let's try to create this shape so that we can just like penetrate the knot pole from there so just just put an A's uh, or two A's there I think we should put maybe two A's or three A's maybe. and see it's we can put th uh, like some six there and then let's extrude this four face and let's pull them out when you pull you can see they are going in their normal direction so I don't want that so just switch to world axis then move so that they all go in a single axis and just you can see and I can also just a little bit tapering down there to mimic that area okay and let's see what I can do more I can I can just move these two edges or those vertices a little forward to create that round edges there now yeah okay so let's smooth this let's add some edge loop there here and decide to keep the shape and you can press 3 you can see the shape if you want to make the hole to like you know, bring the bolt we can use booleans there so just let me add an edge loop here and let's smooth this object go to mesh and smooth so that our object smoothen and bring some divisions there so now let's use boolean so for boolean we need to again take a cylinder so that we can cut out that shape from this existing shape so you probably know booleans so just take and scale it move it position and scale your object so that we get the proper hole there okay just make sure your object is like uh, totally penetrating there or just crossing the object there uh, it's if you put like this then the it will not create a total hole there set and let's try booleans so select this one first and select this one second so first selected will be there second selected will be minus from the first so let's first select this one this one then go to mess and booleans difference so you can see easily we got that but make sure you're not uh, you can't actually smooth it anyway because if you try to smooth you can see uh, these auto artifacts because actually boolean edges are not continuous so that is the problem so keep it like this so that's why i smoothed first then i did this so no problem let's take this and reuse this as a bolt there let's hold j and rotate it 90 degree or you can put the value here and make sure the all things are lined off to the center like you can see it's not lined off to line up the center hold x and move it to snap the grid and we are ready to go there big bolt there like this or you can go to the bottom view as well by holding space bar hold left mouse button you can choose here um, I think uh, yeah bottom view press F and just you cannot see the like roundness there just put wireframe and say it so that we can see yeah then let's put some edge loop here and let's finish this class here just put edge loop here and here in this area in this area i'm not going to put edge loop in uh, close to this edge because i want to make it a round shape so if you smooth it round you can see it's a round shape if you want to make that square you can so i'm happy with this shape let's just penetrate that shape like this 
okay and you can put some holes there like just duplicate and make it a little smaller and just put that in four corners of that piece like this control d move it to that side and place then select both and control d to duplicate both wow. we completed this just need to duplicate just select this group so it's all in a group just select this part the wheel and let's group it so that we can duplicate that just and you can see the pivot is at the origin now it's very helpful actually i can do is just control d and put minus one in scale x so that it flip that side so it's a very useful trick to like duplicate and flip to the exact opposite side if your pivot is at the center of origin and your mod you want to actually flip the object exactly that side as the center of that so um, uh, now we can do is just to put this uh, all this part and just again duplicate it and let's put that back side there let's make sure we are actually yeah it should be somewhere here and let's finish this area as well a little bit because actually we have not put it some Oh, yes, look to hold it if I smooth it it becomes very round shape. so what I do is just extrude the side face what I did is just select shift double click to again select the whole path there and then extrude then go to offset just offset a little bit and what I want to do is just go and just put put a little bit thickness so I want a little bit roundness there and now we can put some edge loops to make this line a little hard hard corners like this or you can do it just um, it would be better I think if we select all this face just select these faces and grow the selection or you can actually let me go to the top view So I want to select all these faces here. So select here from here like this and press shift greater than to grow your selection. Yeah, we missed this one. So select this one and shift double click here to get this and uh, do the same thing at the bottom here as well to get this. So what I'm trying to do is to get a loop round loop to actually alongside this corner edge. So what I do is just extrude and offset a little bit. So you can see rounded lobe at the whole edge like that. So now if you smooth it, you will get this flatness and this roundness to the corner. So it concludes uh, the skateboard modeling here. And this is also the conclusion of this section. Uh, in the next uh, new section, we are going to learn the md part which is marvelous designer how to use that software to create good looking or realistic clothing jump into that lesson and learn some new things see you there